Hi, it's Jackie. Today I'm going to be making some French bread. My kids swear that it tastes like New York City bread. I don't know, I haven't tasted it because I'm gluten free. Enjoy. So I've got my ingredients, my a little bit of sugar, flour, uh, warm water, yeast, salt, and a big mixing bowl. So I'm going to be putting in a tablespoon of yeast into the warm water. The water is about um, 100 to 110 degrees. I've also heard up to 115. I don't know, I just put my finger in it and it feels warm, it's good. Add two and a half teaspoons of sugar. Stir it up and let it sit for about five, 10 minutes. Add a two and a half teaspoons of salt to this and then I'm gonna mix it together with the flour just so that the salt is well mixed. The yeast looks great and it's nice and bubbly. It has doubled. It's probably been about 10 minutes. So I'm going to just dump that right in there. At this point, I like to use a whisk to mix up the yeast and water and flour just to make sure it's smooth. The whisk seems to do a good job. Okay, so I've added the three cups of flour and now I'm just going to turn it out onto the counter. What I'm doing is just taking the rest of the dough out of the bowl, uh, and then we'll just put some oil in there. Okay, so to knead it, I've got a little bit of flour there, and I'm just pushing with my heels, and then turn it, and push, and turn it like that. I just put a little flour on there so it doesn't stick to the counter. This one's a little sticky, so I'm going to add just a little bit more flour. So I'll give this about five, maybe five minutes, if that, until it's all nice and elastic. All right, so I think I'm almost done. I have added just a little bit of flour as I'm going along so that it doesn't stick to the counter. But it's probably been about four minutes or so. And it's feeling pretty good, nice and elastic. So if you come good. Okay, so if you do that, you can see how my as my finger goes in, it kind of just pops back out again, so I'd say that's good. And also, the fact that I can put my hand on it and it doesn't stick. So that's good. So then what I'm going to do is add a teaspoon or two of oil to the bottom of that bowl, put the dough in, and just kind of roll it around so that it's all evenly oiled. And then we're just going to let that rise for about an hour. The dough has risen for about an hour or an hour and 15 minutes. Now I'm going to just dump it out. Now I'll cut the dough in half. I've pushed the dough out with my fingers into a big rectangle and now I'm going to roll it up from the long side and put it on the cookie sheet with the seam side down. So I have both loaves on the cookie sheet and I've slashed them with a knife and I'm just going to brush them with water. Okay, So it's been, actually it's been an hour just because time-wise it worked out that way. Uh, so these are the loaves, a little bit wonky, that are going to be going into the oven. I've already put water on the top and they will be going in the oven with a pan of water at 375. Okay, these are going in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. So the bread comes out of the oven, um, should be nice and golden brown, and you just have to make sure that your family doesn't eat it right Mom. away, because otherwise Mom. it's just a second. No, hey, no, is the bread ready yet, Jack? Oh, bread? Uh, just, <laughs> hold on, guys, I'm just taking it out of the oven. Is the bread ready? Right? Not, not yet, not yet, guys. 